GarageBand is a fully functional digital audio workstation at a great price. If you're a Mac user, it's free in the App Store. This is GarageBand 10 on an iMac. We're going to go ahead and record a simple voiceover or podcast. I start GarageBand. I'm going to choose Empty Project. I'm going to choose my audio inputs and my audio output. I'll get another chance to do that as well as we start our project. Here we have a project opened up, and again, it's going to ask me what am I recording in. I'm going to choose my DigiDesign Inbox 2 Mini so I can go XLR to USB into my iMac. And where am I hearing my sound from my built-in output? Let's go ahead and create it. And it gives us a project with a track. Now, the good news is it looks like we are getting audio in because I'm seeing levels. Make sure that you're in the yellow and green, not in the red. There's almost zero coming back from overmodulation. And with uh, levels topping into the red, you will get some overmodulation. So be aware of that. Let's go ahead and turn off the count in because I'm not singing. Trust me, I won't. I promise. Let's also take off the metronome because I'm not worried about tempo. Because I'm not worried about tempo, let's go ahead and choose time here so that I know how long I'm recording and that display will show us where the playhead is at. Just for a simple personal preference, I'm going to double click library over here to give myself a little bit more room and I think we're ready to go ahead and record. Pretty standard playhead functionality right here um, that I think we're all used to. I'll go ahead and left click the record. And now another good indication that we are recording audio, the track is turning red. And finally, yes, we have waveform on the track, so we can assume that we are recording audio. So let's go ahead and record a simple podcast. Welcome to the One Word Podcast. This week's word is podcast. Thanks for listening to the One Word Podcast. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop to stop the recording. The space bar. We'll also stop and start the playhead as well. This is the playhead here. If I left click, hold and drag, that will allow me to move the playhead. So let's go ahead and look for the recording that we want to keep. I'll place it right there. Hit the space bar. Welcome to the one. And we do have audio and that's where I want to start it. So I'll leave my playhead there as a reminder. If I go to the end of the region and hover, it will change the tool that I'm using. So there we know that we can left click, hold and drag and adjust the beginning of the region to right where I want it. Space bar to check. Welcome to the one word. And that's pretty good. Let's go ahead, left click, hold and drag and find the end of the section we want to keep. Podcast. And that's right where it is. Again, if I hover on the end, look for this tool, left click, hold and drag. I now have the region that I want to keep. I'm just going to select anywhere in the region, left click, hold and drag to the beginning of my project. Again, let's go ahead and go to the beginning of the track, place the playhead there, hit the space bar. Welcome to the one word pod. And it looks like we are ready to go and we have a fully fledged albeit quite short, podcast. Now that I want to keep it, I'll hit the share menu, export the song to disk. Maybe I want to manipulate it later, have it in a place where I can upload it and refer to it later. Let's go ahead and go simple. Uh, let's go DAW U, uh, GarageBand 101. Quality and length are going to determine how big our file is. I'm just going to go MP3 and the highest quality. I'm going to export. And now we have a file and we have a recording in GarageBand. Make sure to continue watching our GarageBand tutorials to continue to progress in GarageBand. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at dawuniversity.com.